Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Anmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to print numbers in ascending order. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in an angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in an angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Now we are going to write wide main function curly open brace and here I'm going to declare the necessary variables which are to be used in the program with data type int n i is equal to 1 because uh, the no normally natural number uh, starts from 1 so I'm going to write here 1. Now we'll write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen. Now we'll ask the user to enter the number using printf statement. Here in a double quotation mark I'm going to write enter the number and end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf uh, statement here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write percentage d format specifier end the double quotation mark put comma and then we'll take this variable ampersand of n now i'm going to use while looping construct and here i'm going to write i is less than or equal to n and curly open brace and now i'm going to write printf statement and in a double quotation mark format specify percentage d uh, before this uh, double quotation mark i'll put comma so that we can print uh, each and every number with comma next i'm after this double quotation mark i'll put comma and i and put semicolon and i'm going to increment the value of i by 1 using i plus plus now curly closing brace indicates it's a termination point of a while looping construct now i'm going to write one more printf statement after this do uh, sorry while iterative statement and here in a double quotation mark i'm going to use one of the escape sequences called backward slash b which is used to backspace or uh, remove the last letter from the right hand side so and after that it has to print dot so whenever you see comma before this double quotation mark after printing each and every number so it is going to be printed that is uh, number one comma number two comma three comma four comma and so on and after this at the end it has to remove the comma and it has to put full stop so that's the reason we have written this particular statement so end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and now i'm going to write get ch function here so get ch and then curly closing brace now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number for example i'm going to enter 5 now n is holding 5 and now you can check out i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 5 so here 1 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true so it is going to print 1 now you can see here it is going to print 1 and just because of this comma it is going to print comma i plus plus it increments the value of i by 1 earlier it was 1 now it will become 1 plus 1 it will become 2 again control transfers to while 2 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true then it is going to print i value that is 2 and again it is going to print comma again it is going to increment the value of i by 1 now 2 plus 1 is 3 so again control transfers to y 3 is less than or equal to 5 yes it is true and then it is going to print the value of i and put comma so this plus plus increments the value of i by 1 now 3 plus 1 it will become 4 again control transfers to while 4 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true once the condition is true then this printf statement will get executed and it is going to put comma again it increments the value of i by 1 now 4 plus plus gives me 5 so again control transfers to while so 5 is less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true then it is going to print the value of i and put comma again it increments the value of i by 1 now 5 plus 1 it will become 6 so again control transfers to while 6 is less than or equal to 5 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this while looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement next statement here is backward slash b so it is going to remove this comma and it is going to print this full stop over here and then get ch terminates the program 
Now let us execute this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ Integrated Development Environment. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success. That indicates there is no syntax error. And now I'm going to press Enter. Let us run this program by pressing Control F9. Here you can see it is asking the user to enter the number. For example, I'm going to enter 5 and press Enter. Here you can see it is printing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 separated by comma. And after the 5, you can see that uh, just because of this backward slash B, one of the escape sequences, which is used for backspace. And after removing that comma, it is putting full stop. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.